So as you protect our families and communities every day, it is critical that elected leaders always have your back. As governor, I have now dealt with three climate change-induced storms, one of which was Irene. My answer is this. We no longer have the time to debate whether or not climate change is a result of the choices that we've made. We don't have time. But there's also another reality for those of us in central and western Massachusetts, and I think you could argue in southeastern Massachusetts and Cape Cod as well, and that is a lot of worthwhile initiatives were postponed. A few weeks back, we got a tough dose of reality. Like 32 other states, revenues in Rhode Island have fallen behind projections. Now, we're not as far off as many other states, including Massachusetts and Connecticut, but it makes our work a lot harder and will force some tough decisions in the weeks ahead. It has the strength to pull this fully loaded. Hi, I'm Arnie Duncan, Secretary of Education. Congratulations to Governor Hunt and his fantastic wife, Carolyn, on receiving the 2015 Public School Forum of North Carolina J. Robinson Education Leadership Award. Governor Hunt, you're considered by many as the nation's first education governor. You've laid the groundwork for college and career readiness in North Carolina. <laughs> It is appalling and outrageous that anyone would suggest for a minute that if they lose an election, they're not going to leave. Period. How many times at the end of an election have we heard of the, the words, the people have spoken? For kids today, the internet is almost like oxygen. They simply can't live without it. Of course, we know that in the 21st century story, technology isn't necessarily the hero or the villain. I'm very proud that over my almost 30 years of public service, I have had no scandals. I've always been honest, I have the courage to take the long-term view, and I've shown good judgment. I have high ethical standards. I'm Peter Welch, and I'm running for the United States Senate to work for you, for Vermont, for our country, and for our imperiled democracy. You know, it, uh, it's been a bit of a struggle and for me, and, um, but I ended up voting for Joe Biden. Yeah, there's not enough supply for the demand, but the first thing I did was to get the vaccinations off the vaccine off the shelves. There was about 80,000 doses that were on the shelves, and I said, get them out. Shield your home, the Sloman Shield.